what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome to part 53 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time I battled all the trainers in the Sutopolis gym and this time I'm going to be battling the 8th and final gym leader of the game which is the dude that I'm standing right next to and guys seriously this gym battle is going to be a piece of cake because I have Boltster which is level 49 which is a higher level than any one of this guy's Pokemon and I have demolished six of the seven gym leaders in this entire series. The only gym leader that I had a little bit of trouble with was Brawly, but I mean, let's be real, he's probably the toughest gym leader in the whole game. I mean, most people have a hard time with him, like he's really, really tough. But this guy is not going to be tough at all, because like I said, I have Volster, and uh, I also have Betty and Emily, and those three Pokemon are going to be, um, they're going to be my main priority Pokemon for this fight, especially Volster. Volster should be able to take down four of, this, uh, four of the five Pokemon that this guy has. So, I am very, very confident. And guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. But wait a second. How does that make sense? Because you're the current gym leader and he's the former gym leader. So how would... I don't know. Anyways. Once I had given up my position as a gym leader. Oh, so... Are, wait, is this guy... The, was this guy the gym leader before Wallace? I'm like, I don't know. Anyways. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. Okay, so yeah, this guy was a gym leader before Wallace, and then Wallace um, took it uh, took it over, and then this guy, and then now Juan is the he's the, he is now the the the, the, the he he then he, he took it back. Okay. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but not but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. So yeah, this guy. Is the former gym leader, but he's now the current gym leader too, if that makes any sense. Here we go, guys! Gym battle number eight against one. I will won this! Oh, wait, that's not proper grammar. Anyways, he starts out with a love disc, which is level 41, which is kind of pathetic because there's a lot better water types you could be using than love disc, but whatever. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use Thunderbolt. Which is a one hit KO. Alright. And this might get me to level 50. Nope, not quite. And Whizcash. I actually forgot this guy had Whish uh, Whizcash. So we'll have to go to Betty. Alright, so yes. Uh, Whizcash is a water and ground type. So grass is the only thing that's super effective. And not only is it super effective, but it is. It is ultra effective. So, yeah. Alright, so Whiskash goes down. And next up is Celio. I'm gonna go back to Bolster for this. His final Pokemon might be a little tough for me to take down, but again, I'm not too, too concerned about that. And now this will definitely get me to level 50. There we go. That's that's a th we, I am three for three right now for one hit KOs. And there we go. Bolster gets level 50. Next up is Crawduct. Okay, we will stay in. Crawduct is a really cool Pokemon. That's my contest Pokemon, which I plan on doing more contests in the after game uh, because contests are really fun in this game, and I have a very fond history of them. Or with them, I guess. Anyways, I am now 4 for 4 for 1 hit KOs. And finally is Kingdra. And I don't think I'm going to be getting a 1 hit KO for this one. I'm going to go to Emily. Because I could use... I mean, I could stay with Boltster and use Thunder. And that might... That might do the trick. But... I'm just going to play it safe and use my Dragon. I'm going to go ahead, with, go ahead with Dragon Breath. And very, very soon I'm going to be going back to Meteor Falls and getting Dragon Claw. And this might actually kill me. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. Alright, and one more Dragon Bath. And guys, that's it! One has been defeated. So yeah, nothing to it. 2040. Wow, I'm going to be 42 years old in that year. Anyways, we have defeated the last gym leader. Ah! That was really weird. Excellent! Very well, you are the winner. Yes, I won that match! 
From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegant. What? Shut up. Perhaps I should make you alone in my. Uh, no, thank you. I would definitely. I merely. Wow, this guy is, uses. Uh, this guy's vocabulary is very interesting. Uh, rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with the rain badge. And I didn't do the rare. I didn't do the amulet coin thing, did I? Or no, I must have. Yeah, I must have because. Well, I, I, I hope I did. Because that doesn't seem. That doesn't seem like a whole. I don't know. Anyways, uh, now we can use waterfall outside of battle, and he gives us the TM for water pulse. I remember that correctly. Uh, I will not be using that because I don't need to. And he, he gives us his phone number like all the other gym leaders have. And yeah, guys, we have defeated all nine gym leaders because technically there is nine gym leaders in this game because of um, because of uh, uh, Tate and Lisa there being two. So guys, um, now uh, that's all I want to do for this video. But I'm going to go end things off where I would like to start in the next video. And guys, you're gonna hate me so much, but I'm the next video. I'm gonna be doing another trick puzzle, uh, or the trick puzzle, another trick house puzzle. I should be saying. Um, so, I am going to go there right now, and, um, yes, I will do that next video, because, actually, the next video, I'm going to be doing more than just doing the Trick House puzzles. I'm also going to be going back to the Team Magma Hideout and getting the PP Max that I left behind. And I want to also go to Meteor Falls and get the TM for Dragon Claw uh, for Altaria. So, the next video is probably going to be pretty long, because I'm going to be doing those two things I just said, plus I'm going to be doing two Trick House puzzles. So, the next video is going to be a little, bit, a little bit on the longer side, but that's okay. I have quite a few of those every once in a while. So anyways guys, we now have all 8 gym badges, which is awesome. We can literally go to the Elite Four right now. Literally if I wanted to. Uh, we're not the Elite Four, but Victory Row. But I'm not going to do that quite yet because there's, a lot, there's still some things I would like to do. But before I end off this video, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah! That is my complete badge set. I have all 8 badges. Um, so that's great. And we can do Gym Leader rematches in the after game, but... Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna get too much, in, I'm not gonna get into, uh, too much into that right now. But yeah, there we go, guys. So we have all eight badges. And I can now say that I demolished, uh, seven of the eight gyms of the Let's Play, which has been pretty nice. And guys, that's where I'm gonna be ending off this video. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will have a link to my Facebook page in the description below, and I will see you all next time. Peace!